I mean, it boosts our morale. I mean, everybody's been kind of dogging the offensive line the first three games, so I really think it uh, it kind of shows our the representation of how what our unit's really about. I mean, mm-hmm. we're a bunch of tough, hardworking dudes, so to have him spring, what, 65, 70-some yards every play, I mean, that's something that's uh, – Makes it makes it easy on us. When you watch the video, though, what do you see special in Zeke that maybe people don't haven't picked up on yet? Um, with Zeke, I mean, for me specifically, it's his patience. Um, you, know, you know, I saw something on Eleven Warriors today about uh, about how we run the power, and that I think that's a huge something that separates him from other backs in the nation itself. It's just how he's patient. He lets us do the dirty work, mm-hmm. and then it makes makes it easy for him. So he kind of understands us, and I think that's why we have such great chemistry with him specifically. Yeah. Where do you guys think you are as an offensive line? At um, point in the season? I, we're still a work in progress. I mean, there's still things that we need to correct. I mean, there's a you know things here and there nothing nothing too major not like where we were last year at this point in time i mean last year at this point in time we're you know who are these guys you know get rid of the left guard you know the center's too small this side and the other um but i really think that this year i mean we're established we know what we're doing we have confidence which is the separation from this year to last year and uh we just gotta keep going I think uh, Ezekiel put on online that he owed you guys a steak dinner. Yeah, Is that he just does. him talking, or <laughs> <laughs> no? Oh uh, man, that guy. We're gonna we're gonna hold him to that. It might not happen tonight. Um, stats tutoring's got got me in a conflict. So, but uh, he <laughs> he's definitely taking us to the Hyde Park. <laughs> Billy, what's what have the issues been in the red zone? You guys are six of sixteen scoring touchdowns there. Um, I think in the red zone. Um, as we look at our office, we're a very explosive offense, and given the given a confined space, I mean, it makes things difficult. It makes it easier for the defense just because we don't have they don't have as much ground to cover, especially as we go vertical or we go, you know, sideline to sideline. Um, but I think you know, in, in the red zone specifically, there was a couple plays. You know, there's just one th- one thing we miss one thing or don't get a don't get the best block on this thing, and that kind of that kind of confines us a little bit. Um, so I mean, I think it's just we have to continue to better better execute our offense and take care of what. Our responsibilities are, and that will better pr- produce in the end result for us. Right um, I mean, it, it's part of it. I mean, I mean, first off, we got to get the run game going. So that's that's always primary. That's who our offense is. Uh, and then the red zone, it just comes comes second nature to us, I guess. But that's something that we just continue to execute on. Are you guys seeing something exotic every week from the defense? Meaning, you did not see it on video, but then. They just keep staying with. I mean, it looked like Indiana was really selling out at times on Saturday, uh, mm-hmm. just to mess with you guys. I mean, what, what, what? For example, Saturday, what did y'all see that would just? Uh, well, I mean, you got to give it, you, you have to you give know, credit, especially. credit to those defenses. I mean, you can't take anything away. Indiana is a much improved team. I mean, they were four and zero, and they were a completely different team than they were last year. Yeah. Um, but I mean, we're gonna get each. We're gonna get their best shot. I mean, we've been saying this week in and week out. It's something that. We have to expect the unexpected. I mean, we'll get a, we can see defenses and we can see blitzes and the traditional blitzes and styles, but there's something always a new wrinkle that's going to come out. Mm-hmm. So I mean, Indiana does that. They're going to throw something new at you. You know, I, we expect Maryland to do the same thing. Virginia Tech did the same thing to us last year. So I mean, it's just they're going to throw whatever they want at us, and we just have to take care of our roles and execute. You know, Saturday was a battle of unbeaten's. If it had been in another conference, I'm not going. You know. Mm-hmm. Uh, People would have been talking about it, and you guys beat an unbeaten team, and you moved on. And mm-hmm. Yet now, it's y'all, y'all beat Indiana 34-27. What's wrong with you guys? Do you, you understand what I'm saying? That's yeah, sort I of understand. The uh, like you just said, Indiana is much improved from a couple of years ago, I would mm-hmm. think, and stuff. What should people know about your football team right now, from the standpoint of uh, the criticism y'all are getting about squeaking along? Well, I mean. To address the criticism, I think everybody just needs to uh, relax. Um, we will take care of our business, and that's something that's. And excuse me, but the media, the media is the media. Mm-hmm. You guys, I mean, everybody has an opinion, and that's fine. Um, but as last year, we were a team of we were a team that wasn't really known. So to go beat it, beat it, an undefeated team, it was like whoa, whoa, you know, that's pretty cool. But now this year, everybody knows the talent we have. Everybody knows, you know, what we can do given our potential. So I think that. For us to beat an unbeaten team, that's expected. You know, at Ohio State, that's what we expect here at the Ohio State, and that's what our alumni expect, that's what our fans expect, and that's what the media expects. So for us to beat a team 34-27, it's okay, but a oh, victory is a victory. Hey, Billy, Billy along, sorry. No, go ahead. Now, along with that, what would be your message to maybe some of the misadjusted fans that you guys see in your Twitter feeds, Cardell especially this week, and then it's just kind of some of the loonies out there. Just stay off Twitter. Just stay off Twitter. I mean, Darren, I saw Darren Lee put out a tweet, and I mean, it comes it comes with the game itself and being being a 
a, a heightened offense, and you know we're you know we've got a lot of special players on the team and whatnot. Um, but you know, fans just you have no idea what's going on, unfortunately. So it's it's uh, it's frustrating on our end, especially you and I see the tweets of get thro being thrown at Cardell. It's it's not pretty. I've been on the receiving end of those, and it's not uh, just stay in your lane. How do you feel about where you guys are as a team? Uh, we're still developing. I mean, I think that we have to we have to figure out where. I mean, we know the kind of guys we have. You know, Dontre, Jalen, Braxton, Mike Thomas. You know, Corey Smith and the injury that unfortunately, um, we just have to find that balance. In my opinion, personally, and I think that again, it comes down to execution. If we execute, the playmakers will get their touches. The playmakers will do what they're supposed to do. But we have to execute, and that's just something we have to continue to work on week in and week out. Billy, when you think Last of offensive question. linemen, you think of guys who like to barrel straight ahead. Mm -hmm. But Urban says this is a team that has to be able to go north, south, and east, mm -hmm. west. Mm -hmm. How much harder does that make an offensive lineman's job? Uh, a couple extra steps running, running left and right instead of north and south. Um, but I mean, it's it's that's just how our offense is. I mean, we've got the playmakers, and we just have to, to do what coach does. When do y'all feel at your best, at your strongest, though? The last several weeks, has it been just breaking Zeke up the middle? You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. One, up the middle, What's I mean, your identity, between the tackles, right? etc. Where, where have y'all felt? Um, that I mean, strength? we are a we are we're an inside power inside power run yeah. run team. So when we get that going, get that established, that's something that's really. Um, Gets the ball moving downhill, and that's when you know you start to see teams start to weaken up a little bit, and that's yeah. where we really start to execute, put the foot on the gas, and go. Did the gap blocking aid in that this week? I know you guys switched that in the second half. Uh, I mean, we just changed. Ball? We we just changed plays. I mean, not we didn't change plays. We just went to something different to try to attack them. So it's something that we have in our repertoire as well with many other plays. It's just it's how you execute those plays, whether or not mm -hmm. you can run those plays and be successful.